What if your customer asks you about the difference between non-life and life insurance? Would you be able to respond? We're going to answer that question today. What's up? You're watching Tito Talks, non-life insurance discussions with me, of course, your favorite Tito Miguel, who loves to make non-life insurance topics easier to understand for both agents and clients. Maganda, 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 magandang Friday po sa atin. DGI Friday, thank you. Welcome back to the weekend and welcome back to another session of Tito Talks, wherein we are going to make another video which I probably should have done at the start of the <laughs> channel. Now, if you didn't catch our previous video about the definitions of life insurance, I'm going to link that video right up here, right then and now, which is supplemented by this video right now, the difference between life and non-life insurance. Now, as you all know, as agents, it is very important that we are able to explain these concepts to our customers, especially to our customers who are new to the industry. Yes, I know, it's going to be very, very difficult to convince someone that you're knowledgeable about non-life insurance if you can't distinguish it from life insurance. As you all know, non-life insurance and non-life insurance are the two main subcategories of insurance here in the Philippines. And yes, the licensure exam, the licenses for, uh, for both of them are separate, which means if you want to sell both life and non-life, you're going to need to get two licenses. That means you're going to need to get two exams. And yes, you're going to have to partner up with two companies as well. One non-life insurance provider and one life insurance provider at the minimum. So in order for us to function properly as agents, especially if you're only specializing in one, that being non-life insurance, it's very important that you're capable of distinguishing one from the other. Also, you may get the occasional customer that's confused about what they want to buy. They know they have to protect something, but they don't know how to do it. And this is where our bread and butter comes from. Being able to translate these fears into tangible coverages that your customers can appreciate and your customers can pay for in order to give them the peace of mind that we always espouse as non-life insurance agents. And in order to help our customers come to the right decision, I've got three questions that you can ask yourself as customers or three questions that you can ask as agents to your customers to help them zero in on the financial product they want to buy. Let's start off with the first question, shall we? Now, this is probably the most telling difference between life insurance and non-life insurance. If you ask your customer, what do you want to insure? Although it sounds like a general question, there could be multiple answers coming from your customer. I would want to insure my car. I want to insure my house. I want to insure my family. I want to insure myself. And it could go in any number of directions. One of the biggest differences between non-life and life insurance lies in the assets or the things or the people that these specific, uh, that these specific products target if you want uh, if you want to insure something tangible something outside your own life such as your car your house your assets your business then what you're looking for is non life insurance as these fall under the different categories of non-life insurance such as motor car insurance, fire insurance, bonds, so on and so forth. Now on the other hand, life insurance policies are designed to cover specifically people and what happens to the people around them when this particular person dies? What sort of monetary benefits will the company pay out to the next of kin or the legal beneficiary of the insured when that demise happens. But wait a minute, Miguel. Doesn't non-life insurance also have personal accident insurance? Why, yes, that is absolutely right, Miguel. Personal accident insurance, which falls under non-life insurance, also insures the person itself. But it does have some fine differences 
from life insurance. This is why after asking the first question, what do you want to insure? And if your customer says, I want to insure myself, the process isn't over, which means you probably have to ask them the second question. Yes, of course. <laughs> the dreaded money talks. Um, it's always very important for agents to be very sensitive around customers, especially when they talk about the budgets. As we all know, especially in Filipino culture, Filipinos are quite sensitive when they talk about how much money they want to spend on something. Especially in Filipino culture, kung saan napakasikat po ng pagtawad. Mm. <laughs> so, what kind of budget are you talking about? How much is your customer willing to spend on a monthly or probably yearly basis in order to get the protection that they're looking for? Usually, if, they, if your customer has a larger type of budget and they can afford to spend more and they want to invest more in their protection, their best bet would have to be life insurances as they provide more comprehensive coverages from death as compared to a personal accident policy provided by non-life insurance. However, if your customer's budget is a little bit more restricted, but they're still looking for something to protect themselves in case the worst happens, then that's the time you can provide or espouse non-life insurance in the form of personal accident insurance. It also insures the person, and yes, they both provide 24-hour coverage that doesn't take any day offs or holidays. Plus, they don't also charge any deductibles when the, uh, when the benefits are paid out to the beneficiaries in the event of the insured's demise. However, there, there again, there is another filter to go through. What if your customer, um, uh, what if your customer says, "I want to insure myself. I want to insure myself so that my family gets something when I die, but I'm afraid of getting sick, or I'm afraid of getting into accidents." And this is where our last question comes in. <laughs> This last question should allow you to zero in exactly on what your customer needs. What is your customer scared of? Because this will be your main emotional impetus that will force your customer to finally commit to the product that you're espousing. You're in a really good position if you sell both life and non-life insurance. But, of course, you're going to want to play your cards right if you only sell non-life insurance as a non-life insurance agent. Depending on what your customer is scared of, or to be more specific, depending on what coverages your customer is looking for, that will determine if they go with a life insurance policy or a personal accident policy under a non under non-life insurance and probably the biggest difference you will want to uh, you will want to be able to explain to them is the difference between accidental death and natural causes of death now as you may note, accidental death policies or accidental death benefits under PA policies are strictly limited to death by accidental causes, meaning these are external forces that cause the demise of the insured. Sometimes, especially in medical cases and in legal cases, some lawyers and doctors refer to this as the mechanism of death. And that sounds like a really cool band name. <laughs> Now, this mechanism of death could either be because of external forces or natural causes. When it's caused by external forces such as car crashes, slips, falling off a cliff, getting, uh, getting hit on by falling debris, so on and so forth, if they are external, then these are non-natural causes of death and these are covered by both life, insurances, uh, life insurance policies and PA policies under non-life insurance. However, if your customer has more specific fears, let's say, for example, he's scared of getting sick, he's scared of contracting terminal, uh, terminal illnesses, these are what are now known as natural causes of death. And by series of definition, a natural cause of death or a natural mechanism of death <laughs> Love saying that term. Um, natural mechanism of death would refer to causes that 
come about from inside the body without direct link to external forces. These are where your sicknesses come from, i.e. cancer, um, stroke, heart attack, diabetes, and these are all what we consider natural causes. So, if your customer is concerned about natural causes, likewise, you go for a life insurance policy which can cater to those types of needs. But then again, it's going to be more pricey. However, if your customer is more concerned about accidental death, then you can provide them a better option, a better premium, by advocating for a personal accident insurance policy under non-life insurance. And as you can see, these questions allow you to zero in on what the customer wants, what the customer needs, and most importantly, what will give our customers the biggest peace of mind. And as for today, this, is, this has been such a lovely, lovely session. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let me leave, before I leave, I'd like to ask you a question. Does insurance have any guiding principles like a code of honor or an oath that insurance agents have to adhere to whenever they, uh, whenever they deal with their clients? We're going to answer that question during our next non-life insurance discussions which will take place next week wednesday and i hope to see you then thank you so much again for attending this session and once again this is your favorite tito miguel always saying i hope you enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>